Welcome to Tours with Mark. And uh, today, all we're going to do is make my bed, and I'll show you how I do that in the ProMaster uh, 3500 Extended 159 High Roof, uh, half built, not even half built, a quarter built. <laughs> Okay, let's say an eighth built. But either way, um, I wanna show you, you know, how I do it. It's simple, it's just like you would imagine, but I wanna talk you through some of my, uh, my other struggles while I'm doing it, so I'll multitask. Hopefully you can see it just fine. It's a mess, it is a giant mess in here. Don't judge me, this is just uh, me being lazy because it rained multiple days in a row, so I've been out and about, not in my van as much. Small little leak, I think I fixed it temporarily. Now I'm debating, do I need to do it permanently or not? Anyways, long story short is, I was too lazy to put this on yesterday, but I did laundry and I didn't put my sheets on. So let's go ahead and do that. And I wanna tell you some other things while we're doing it. For one, what I do is I usually, have, what the hell is that thing? Okay, just a piece of lint or whatever. I'm gonna sweep later, don't worry. I like to hide my laptops underneath like sheets or pillows, somewhere where somebody wouldn't, if they broke in, find it. Um, this is also kind of a decoy laptop because I have a different one, don't tell the world or where I live. But I have a decoy one, which is this one. It still works and I still use it, but my good one is usually hidden away. So that's that. Second thing I wanted to tell you was while you're building it out, um, I actually use cable locks and the same master lock. I have three master locks and I use cable locks that I had with bikes and stuff to lock up my Blue Eddy power supply, my refrigerator, and, uh, and that's with just one lock. I just tie them together around the chassis of the van. My, anything expensive I try to lock up because if a thief comes in and breaks in and I'm not here, more than likely they're not gonna have cable cutters on them. I mean, they might break the bolt. They might be able to do it, but it's just one more deterrent. Give me a little extra time. Anyways, I've got my bowl and branch uh, blanket here, which I love. It's just a little light for the winter season, but it's gonna be good for the summer. And these are all clean. My pillows. Yes, I slept in it last night. Don't tell anyone. Sorry about that. But let's just go ahead and put these on. The thing is, you want to be <laughs> comfortable. My heat. Oh, that's another thing. Sorry to interrupt. My heat, my Webasto heater stopped working completely. Um, it goes on for about 10 minutes and off. I don't know what it is yet. There's a lot of troubleshooting to do, but it's been raining for days and days nonstop, and that is very much not motivating for me <laughs> to crawl into my van or to even check anything. I'm hoping that it's an actual electrical thing because I did extend the electric by about four feet. I used, I think, 10 gauge wire though, so I don't really see where the problem might be. And it's also the fault code doesn't say anything about electric. And just while I'm doing this, the fault codes on the Wabasto basic uh, version anyways, the fault codes are basically blinking flashing lights and you count them and then you say, oh, okay. The fast light blinked three times, so it's fault code three. And then it'd be a slow light and then a fast light, etc. cetera. Um, that's how you look it up. But again, troubleshooting is troubleshooting. You gotta do what you gotta do. So these three have pillowcases now. Ooh, see, I'm tripping over everything. Okay, let's see. I've got a fitted sheet here, another bowl and branch. I do like the uh, bowl and branch. I like white, but I'll tell you what, it's probably not the smartest thing when you're still building it out. I don't know where this pillowcase went. And I'm probably not gonna use the non-fitted i'm just gonna skip the non-fitted sheet so i'll stash that away for a cold wintry day and i guess this pillow will have to go away until i find a pillowcase for it gotta have the pillowcases so now okay so now you can see if it's raining out or something you want to do this all indoors but it's not that hard to get these tucked in all the way. Uh, just a little hint, when you find the tags, they usually go on the bottom right of your bed. I think that's pretty much universal for at least what I've found out. So this is a short queen bed and I bought it off of Amazon. And it fits the ProMaster without any modification whatsoever. So in that case, I will link this. Now, of course, your sheets don't quite fit because of it. Now it's dark, I know. Crawling up here. 
this is the hard part because I have this in the way, but we just go ahead. Oh, and it's locked up too. So I was telling you about how it's locked. So I'm just gonna slide it over a little bit. Hopefully get this in. Uh, to be honest, it's not raining out, so I'm gonna open up the back and do it from there. Much easier access back here. But if you're trying to be stealth, of course, it's not gonna work. And now I'm running into the problem of these corners not lining up. Sometimes the struggle is real, and sometimes it's not. Of course, like I said, I did not modify this, this queen sheet at all, or the queen uh, bed either, the mattress. But I do think, I do think we're, we're good now. It's a little, a little short. I think we're good. I, I wish there was no wrinkles and I could tuck things better, but let's, let's finish up. So then we take this secondary blanket. This is the warm one. And again, these tags usually go to the bottom, right? Well, from my point of view, so, oh shit. That's, yeah, that's the bottom, right? I don't know. We'll let somebody on YouTube comment and figure that out, or I can Google it later. But what I do is I normally spread this out as best I can, and then I tuck, I tuck this all in and under so that it stays put. But let me go to the back and do some of that. And this, this also works for um, dual purpose. It blocks part of the garage as well from, because I'm not done again, it blocks the garage on the inside if you let it hang. But yeah, like I said, I, I stuffed this, from the back here, I stuff it all underneath as much as I can so it stays in place. And then in the back back, I do stick most of it underneath the actual bed. so that I can access my garage. That's that. And now, we got the bowl and branch. Let me go ahead and stuff this under here. To me, it doesn't need to be perfect, but it is nice to have a good looking, I don't need to stuff that, that's actually. It just feels good to feel like a home a little bit here and there. So let's go ahead and get this white one down. I guess we'll follow suit. I gotta admit, this is probably one of the most boring <laughs> videos you'll ever see. You know, maybe I'm wrong about this whole tag thing. Something doesn't seem lined up, but whatever. Let me move this over just a tad, back to the back. Maybe you could see. Said you want to hang this down a little bit so that it covers most of my my garage. It's also good for you know the heat, keeping the heat in. Somehow I'm motivated. I don't know how. <laughs> well, mostly because you need to sleep at night, and I needed to do this. This thing's getting in the way. I'm going to put this in the actual garage. Garage, I think or somewhere out of the way. It's only in the way when you're trying to do your sheets, to be honest. When I'm sleeping, you know, I'm usually, well, <laughs> I've been 100% sleeping by myself. <laughs> but if I had two people, I'll show you, this pushes away. You could still fit two people up here with this here. But again, I tuck it underneath here. And I'm doing this relatively quick to try to make the video a little bit more manageable for you. Tuck the back in. I usually tuck it in and under. That's that. Ugh. 
and this fits so good. I don't think I'm gonna make any modifications to this this uh, mattress. It's a short queen. And then what I normally do is I'll peel this back a little bit like that. Maybe on both sides. I'm not an expert. Put a couple pillows down. Face. I gotta find that fourth pillowcase somewhere. I don't know, something like this. It covers part of the garage here. You can make it go lower. Eventually this will be all covered up anyways, but that's that. And of course, my decoy MacBook, slide it somewhere in here. So yes, yeah, somebody crawls up on here, they'll feel it, but it's also my decoy. All right, now time to clean up the whole van. <laughs> 